Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. A top doctor who helped fuel the Dr. Anthony Fauci-led propaganda effort to discredit the COVID Wuhan lab leak theory was put on the spot by a top Republican. Senator Josh Hawley, Republican Missouri, ripped into Dr. Robert Gary during a Senate hearing on COVID origins about his March 2020 paper that threw cold water on the lab leak theory. The Republican put the doctor on the spot for publishing the piece, often touted by Fauci to discredit lab leak speculation, while he casted doubt in private about whether it was possible for the virus to have originated from a Chinese market. In the paper, Gary wrote that COVID likely came from bats, but he emailed colleagues one month prior saying he actually doubted that the virus could have jumped from bats to humans. Hawley claimed Gary must have had a, a revelation from God to change his view on COVID origins so quickly. Hawley read out loud the email to his colleagues written by Gary, I really can't think of a plausible, natural scenario where you can get from the bat virus, or one very similar to it to this. I just can't figure out how this gets accomplished in nature. Gary defiantly retorted, you know, all we did was write a paper. 3,000 words. It's been one of the most scrutinized papers in history. Still, the doctor doubled down on the publication, saying, it, has, held up very well. Hawley was irate, charging that Gary with being in lockstep with Fauci, who he claimed led at the cabal, to discredit the lab leak possibility. Fauci goes to the WHO, and, asked the WHO to intervene to discredit the lab leak. Then Fauci did these multiple interviews where he says, no way no how, lab leak is not possible at all. And then he coordinates, and the whole federal government coordinates, with the biggest tech companies in the world to suppress, and media companies, to suppress any American who would ask questions about it. It's absolutely disgraceful. Dear Gary, you are part of this propaganda effort, Holly continued. I mean, you are right at the center of it. It's astounding. He again slammed Gary for the paper to which the doctor responded by saying it was just an opinion piece. Gary's paper quashing the lab leak hypothesis was published on March 17, 2020, but his private emails from February 2020 reveal he thought, I just can't figure out how this gets accomplished in nature, according to emails in Hawley's possession. Hawley's fellow Republican, Senator Rand Paul, Republican Kentucky, the top GOP lawmaker on the panel, also charged America's top federal health agencies with deliberately deceiving the, the Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Government Affairs, which held the hearing. Today we are here to examine one of the most critical and debated questions of our time. Did COVID-19 originate in a lab? Paul said at the start of the hearing. He then told the packed Senate hearing room that the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, and the National Institute of Health, NIH, have refused for years to provide Republicans and Democrats documents on their alleged risky lab work. This has been a deliberate prolonged effort to deceive the committee about certain gain-of-function research experiments that the agencies have been withholding, Paul charged. Additionally, another eminent doctor on the panel, Dr. Richard Ebright, testified that COVID had to have come from a lab based on its molecular configuration. No, zero, secure evidence points to COVID's natural origins, he told the committee. He mentioned how the closest animals found with the virus were more than 800 miles away from Wuhan in South China. Ebright also noted how the Wuhan Institute of Virology, WIV, where the lab leak theory states the disease came from, has the world's largest research program on bat SARS viruses. And at the time of the outbreak the WIV had, Ebright testified, the world's largest collection of bat SARS viruses. Previously, Fauci had decried the idea that COVID originated in a lab as a conspiracy theory and worked with social media firms to throttle discussion online about the virus's origins. Earlier this month, however, while testifying before Congress Fauci said he kept an open mind about the pandemic start, despite his actions. Fauci's claimed on June 3rd he had kept an open mind about the lab leak theory and did not play a part in the push to downplay the lab leak theory. Ho!